on, baby. Give me a big score here. We've been absolutely rolling here for three days. It's hard to put together big, quick trips out here, but... It's going really well. <laughs> you know, that last string had a pretty good stretch of 500s in it, counted 575. Out here by ourselves, little lights out here. So this is about as good as it gets right through here. We had our last box trip. We had pretty good right there. We keep this up. Oh, okay, they're off. What's 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 going on? A ram. Blew the cab on a ram. Oh, you're kidding me. As the launcher shakes the crab out of a full pot, the hydraulic cylinder blows its top, stopping the wizard's hot fishing cold. I've never seen this before. I don't know how the hell we're going to fix this one. Whoa. Ten miles southwest. Nothingness all around. On the time bandit. Pretty bleak. We're going to grab. 52. 52. This isn't going to do it for us. It's, it's just, there's no biomass here. It's just thin strips of crab. I have no choice. You know, I got to stack on. Time to go. Wizard's 10 miles from me. I like the way that Monty fishes, you know, those guys. See how he's doing. Hey, Monty. Hey, coming in. We got your five. How's it going, John? I was just checking with you to see what you got going on. Yeah, baby. I've got a hydraulic cylinder for my launcher. The, the cap came off of the barrel, so I, I can't shake my launcher without it. We have to dump them, our old style, by swinging it over the table with the crane. Oh, yeah, yeah, I understand the pain. Uh, well, how big a ram is that? It's only like a 25-inch cylinder. You know, it's like four and a, four and a half diameter unit. Oh, yeah. Time out, it's got a spare ram. Oh, you are kidding me. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll just deliver it out to you out there. Does that work? That would be awesome. OK, most definitely, most definitely. Uh, everyone helps everybody out here. Oh. Ow. You know, I'm good for it, but uh, if you guys want to repair the favor. I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. What do you think? Captain Jonathan offers a $300 part to restore the wizard to full strength. Yeah, Roger that. Whether the quid pro crab is worth Monty's hotspot intel, that's another question. I'll let you know when I find something. OK, yeah, thanks, buddy. Good luck there, and I'll keep in touch. All right, good enough. Thanks again. Later. I got a ram for him. I think I might be able to get info back. Captain Jonathan follows through on his deal with Monty, adding a twist that tickles him, well, <laughs> pink on the wizard. We are presently 55 miles from our gear. I traveled 40 miles east before I turned down the hill. That's about as cloak and dagger as you can get. <laughs> using a zigzag course to throw Jonathan off the scent. It's top secret agent stuff. <laughs> Captain Monty approaches the time bandit for a boat to boat transfer, eager to fix his broken launcher and get his deck back to full speed. OK, Freddy, you can let her go. Freddy, Freddy throw it over. OK, it's in the water. 
on ramp. Yeah. All right, careful now with that thing. Roger. Okay, we got our cylinder. Uh, you know, this will definitely speed things up a notch. What color is it? And you, you guessed it, it's gonna be pink. <laughs> <laughs> Why, of course. I wouldn't expect anything less. But thank you for sending them. Yeah. And we can shake our launcher. God knows they need it. <laughs> oh my God, that's, that's terrible, man. So are you all in where you just came from, or you got you small spread out, or what's up with you? Yeah, we're getting kind of spread out here. No doubt about that. Then, uh, pretty slow going, I think, here. Comes and goes. Okay, yeah, good luck there. I'll, I'll keep in touch. Thanks. Yeah, you, you, good luck to you too. Whatever, Jonathan. Who's he talking to? Something's just seemed a little not right about that. He didn't really tell us nothing, did he? Yeah, it comes and it goes. <laughs> what the f does that mean? He came down with no gear. The guy don't come down with no gear if there's no crab up there. They don't have AIS on, so no one can see me. I'm just calling that boat. Don't even know we're here. I'd have to go find those guys to see what they're up to. Yeah, get her nice and tight. On the wizard. All right, they got the cylinder on there. We're back in business. Right on. Good job, guys. Captain Monty slips onto his secret northern grounds, ready to attack the 700,000 pounds he needs to bank his quota. Things are going extremely well. In fact, I, quite frankly, I don't think things could be going much better. 450s, 500s, 350s, we're all by ourselves. You gotta be careful, you know, because you can find all the big fishing you want. If you drag 20 boats along right behind you, you ain't gonna be on big fishing for long. Just three miles off Monty's stern. Captain Jonathan follows the wizard's AIS beacon to see if the younger Colburn is holding out on him. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and dump the first one. Woo! Start over. On the wizard. Here comes the time bandit. Boiling down in here. <sighs> Kidding me, right? He doesn't have his AIS on. Jonathan may not be broadcasting his position, but Captain Monty's short-range radar still picks up the approaching skull and crossbones. There's, there's some good numbers. We must have boats around us here. Gear everywhere. Well, I sure appreciate that. Jonathan Hillstrand, public enemy number one. the information there. But we found the mother load, man. We did it. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. <laughs> <laughs>